The title that I have for it that I really is not my title, I think the Lord gave me, was the Jesus Tribe. And uh, so I want to go to Psalms 24, <clears throat> Psalm 24, and we'll look at verses uh, 3 through 6. And, um, and I believe that that's exactly what these verses are talking about. First, they're talking about Him, and then they're talking about us in Him and to Him, toward Him. So here we go, verse, starting with verse 3. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his, his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, the Jesus tribe. A little addition of my own there. And, and I, but I believe that's exactly what this is speaking of. And, and when Israel was in the wilderness, um, uh, they camped around the, the tabernacle and, um, and there were tribes all around and they all had their significant place. Um, but I don't want to talk about any of those tribes that were outside of the perimeter of the Holy of Holies. Uh, I want to talk about the Jesus tribe, and I want to talk about uh, the reality that is um, above the camp, above the camp. And uh, so, um, of course, in the wilderness, when they had a problem, they would go to God. And of course, God's in the tabernacle, and but they couldn't directly go to him, but they would pray and uh, and God would move and that was their most common thing is that when they needed you know some help um, they went to God and uh, again where was he he was in the holy of holies he was uh, if you look in the scriptures uh, many times many 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 times the holy of holies is also called the holy place and this this verse up here spoke of that, of, of it being his holy place. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or shall stand in his holy place? And of course, uh, we read the next part and that's where we get all tripped up because it says, He that hath clean hands and a pure heart who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity or, nor sworn deceitfully. And of course, we make that immediately. We make that about our personal walk down here instead of the uh, heart condition that uh, is seeking him and and the word seek is used several times in just these few verses and one of the thoughts that had come to me during this time was that um, we have been seeking the Lord all the time long before the coronavirus long before the the crisis in the world we were seeking him without the crisis the Jesus tribe seeks him before all the crisis because they're not, they're not looking. They don't need a crisis to seek the Lord. They just need a heart. And I believe that's what these clean hands and heart and all that, I believe that's what it's all about. I believe it's, it is set like a compass towards the Lord, and that's where it's going to go no matter what. So um, uh, I had mentioned that he was in the Holy of Holies, and and uh, one of the things that hit me years ago was God is in the Holy of Holies and it's other than him being the light, it's completely dark in there. There's nobody else in there. There hasn't been anybody else in there. Um, it's uh, he's alone and uh, no one comes in there for him. They come in there for help. So, for example, uh, the Holy of Holies was entered only once a year by the high priest, okay? So all of the high priests, they would only go in once a year, and that's all of the thousands of years that, that had passed. And they would go into the Holy of Holies, not for him, not for him. They're not, they're not 
seeking him like uh, the, this Psalm 24 is talking about. They just want to get their sins covered and everything fixed and, you know, that sort of thing. So, um, you know, he goes to get help. But then I was started thinking about Jesus and, and I'll read a scripture that, that kind of addresses this. And Jesus went into the Holy Holies and he sat down beside the Father. He sat down. Uh, he'd been alone in the Holy of Holies, as it were, darkness. Um, and high priests come in there and sprinkle some blood and come out and, you know, to the people and it's done and everybody goes home to their camp, to their camp. But Jesus comes in there and he sits down and wants to just talk and fellowship with the Father. I just love that. Okay, so uh, John, Gospel of John, uh, chapter 14 and verse 28 speaks to this end. This is Jesus, John 14, 28. You have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. So he had been talking about, I'm going away, I'm going away. If you love me, you would rejoice because I said, I go unto my Father. My Father is greater than I. So there are several bunches of places, particularly in the Gospel of John, that he talks about um, that I, I go away, but he's talking about going to his Father. You know, he never says, you know, I'm going to go get help. I'm the high priest, or, or he doesn't say, I'm the high priest. And I'm going to go in there and I'm going to solve all your problems. And I'm going to be there for you. And I'm going to, you know, he, he says, I go to my father. I go to the one that has been in that Holy of Holies for 2,000 years. And we've just, the, the few that have gone in there have just come in, got what they wanted and passed by. I'm going to go in there and sit down beside him and fellowship with him. So that's where the concept of the Jesus tribe started getting to me because that's Jesus' heart. That, therefore, that's Jesus' body. Therefore, therefore, that's the, um, the place that they would camp. And I'll explain that in a minute. So let's look again at Psalm 24, verse 3 uh, through 6. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Well, we know like when David was around the hill of the Lord <laughs> was Mount Zion. And where was the tabernacle? I mean, really, it wasn't even the temple. It was still the tabernacle. And he just sat one, sat up the Holy of Holies in his backyard. And he would ascend that hill and go in and, and be with the Lord. And uh, who shall stand in his holy place? In his, who's going to stand in there? We're all going to go in there and get something and stand outside and then have our little party and feast and all that and, and then again go home to our, our place. Um, and then I've already explained the, the clean hands and a pure heart <clears throat> and is not lifting up his soul. I mean, that's just, you know, under vanity, well, not lifting up his soul. Not, I am not going to lift up my soul in this situation. I am going to be with him. I'm, that's where I'm going. Where are you going? I go to my Father. That's Jesus in us. That's his, that's his heart. That's him speaking in us. That's the life that was 2,000 years ago, still alive, and still wants to go to his Father. But now he's inside of us. Um, and then it says, um, uh, well, verse 6, this is the generation of them. This is the generation of them that seek Him. See, this is a description of the Jesus tribe. This is a description of the Jesus generation that is... That is um, has been seeking the Lord in good times and bad times are not going to change it. Or, how about this? They sought the Lord in good times, but when bad times came, they sought the Lord, but it wasn't the same basis. It was to get help again. So we, we forget about Him, where He's at. We want Him to see where we're at, and 
And I understand the dangers and everything. I mean, I do. I understand the dangers. Um, and and Debbie and I are taking precautions. But, you know, I'm sure you know, I mean, it's, uh, you know, in Denton now, they've, they've said, well, you've, everybody has to stay at home and you can't go out uh, uh, to non-essential things. And so that's the way it is. And so now you just have to stay in every day, constantly. I'm going, oh no, I'm going to have to search the scriptures every day, constantly. Oh no, I'm getting more time than I've ever had. Oh no, I'm, you know, I'm, this is, this is wonderful. This is like a gift of the Lord. This is like, um, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Uh, this is the generation that pleases him. That And, I, and here's what I keep, I keep picturing. I keep picturing, you know, the Holy of Holies was basically a square, a square box. And it had the, the, the uh, mercy seat and the, the angels, the cherubim on either side. But God sat there on the mercy seat. That's what it says. The scripture says that it, I will meet with you there. Well, that's in the Holy of Holies. So I, I started picturing this dark place, okay? And so all of a sudden, uh, somebody who's not a high priest slips in there and just stays. I just want to be with you. Just want to, All of a sudden, someone else slips in. And I'm kind of looking at it from above, almost an angle. I could almost draw the picture like an angle as... It starts filling up with all these people, and they're all gathering around. Now they're now they're not doing uh, what is it the, the closeness the thing that you're supposed to <laughs> social distancing. <laughs> oh no, they're not social distancing. Well, I hope whatever's on him rubs off on us. You know, I hope I hope that we get close enough that we just melt into him and it's one. Anyway, so I just saw this Jesus tribe and they're all just going, I just want to be in here. I want to be in here. This is where I want to be. This is where I want to be. And so um, they ascend. They ascend. They ascend out of Jerusalem into Mount Zion. They ascend out of the crisis of the earth into the heart of the Lord and and um, they leave their place because, see, that was the other picture that I saw. I saw the camp and then I saw the, the, the tabernacle. I knew the Holy Holies was there. And I saw all of, their, all of these people in their camps, you know, the, the camp of Levi and of Naphtali and Dan and Asher and all of these tribes. They're all around and everybody are there. But I see one over here and one over here and two over here. They start quietly getting up and leaving and they head toward the tabernacle but they don't just go in the tabernacle they go into the holy of holies the jesus tribe this is the generation this is the generation and so um <laughs> they leave their place for his place for his place and they're not going there because of a crisis they're going there they're going there to fellowship like Jesus. Jesus just comes in and sits down. I mean, I cannot not tell you how amazing that is to me. I mean, it's just, I mean, I just see that dark room and the, the Father being in there all this time and Jesus comes in and instead of, you know, uh, instead of going back out and telling everybody it's going to be all right and all that stuff, he sits down at the right hand of the majesty on high and the Father just goes, what sweet fellowship, you know, what sweet fellowship. So, you know, talking about the, the present crisis of the virus and all of that stuff, and, you know, they're talking about, well, the people that are most susceptible are old people, and, you know, um, you know someone told me that. They said, well, you know, you, you know it's people your age. You're the... You're in the most susceptible group, you know. And, and he'd been sharing this with me, and all I could think of was, I go to my father. I go to my father. I, I, 
whether by life or by death, I go to my Father. If it's in life, then what time that I'm, I'm allowed and gain, especially during this time, I, I use it to know Him, to get with Him, to, to come into that place and fellowship with Him. And, and, and if it's my time to go, I'm dying, I'm going to my Father. Jesus didn't die as it were, you understand, He went to His Father. He didn't even say, I go to the cross, it's going to be bad. <laughs> he just says, I go to my Father. Whatever, whatever is along the way, I'm still headed to the right place. And so that's, that's what I see as the Jesus tribe. Who? That's like a, there's a question mark at the end of this sentence. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? See that? It's a, it's a movement. It's a movement. And then he says, you know, um, this, this is his declaration. This is, it's like he's going, this is, look, this. These that are ascending into his hill. And then these that are standing with him in his holy place. This, this is the generation of them that seek him. This is them. And then he just gets more specific because he goes, he's like, he's talking. He goes, this is the generation of them that seek him. And then listen to this, that seek thy face. He's no longer talking to them or about them. This is the generation, like I'm talking to the people. This is the generation that seek him. Now he turns and he says, that seek your face. I just love that. It's just like you're in this world and you can lift up your head for one moment and see and realize that I'm not just seeking him, I am seeking your face. I am seeking your face. And then it says that seek thy face, O Jacob, <laughs> the Jesus tribe, Selah. So, you know, I share all the time in Bible school and conferences and everywhere, and I have no understanding why I usually tear up on these blogs. And those of you who, who are not used to watching these or don't know me probably think I'm a crybaby. Well, I am when I talk about Jesus. I just love the Lord, and I love y'all. I'm sorry that y'all are going through all these hard times. Um, I'm sorry of the stuff that's happening or will happen, but I am not sorry for the circumstances that could actually be the best thing that ever happened to us if we're, if we're in tune. So go after, be that, be, join the tribe. How about that? Join the tribe. You're welcome, come on in. We're going to ascend up to His holy hill. And we're going to stand in that holy place. We're going to get in that little box crowded. And we're going to just love on Him and let the chips fall where they will. Love you. Father, thank you for this time. Thank you for this people. Thank you for your Spirit who is drawing us higher, ascending us ascending us to where we need to be so that we could be of that generation. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you guys. Love you. Amen.